Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle, and this is a new episode of Come to Work With Me, a series on my channel where we go through the vintage inventory that we have at the jewelry store where I work. And it helps me to prioritize and organize. And in the meantime, we get to look at the goodies. If you haven't already, click subscribe. I'm uploading a new video every Sunday and I'd love to see you there again. Down in the description box below, there are eBay links and emails. If there's anything you're interested in, or if you would just like to say hi, I'd love to hear from you. Send me a message. Anyway, let's get digging. All right, let's get it started with two boxes today. Two beautiful teal, blue, green Hermosa boxes. Now we've had this brand before, uh, really beautiful pearl product. And inside, we have little Hermosa bags. <laughs> How cute. Let's see what's in this one. A ring. Ooh. Let's zoom in on that guy. Oops, oops, oops. There we go. Look at that. Like a... Uh, I don't know, it's got like a watermelon, I guess, I guess mystic topaz, right? Which is a treated topaz. But that is sure pretty. What finger do you fit on? Probably this one. That's gorgeous. Look at all the colors in there. Nice. And it is marked 925. And those diamonds cannot be diamonds. They're too big for 925. They're too big for uh, Mystic Topaz as well. <laughs> and let's see what's in the other one. Is it another ring? Oh, intuition test right off the hop. Is it another ring or is it something else? 50 points in the comments. If you guessed, not a ring. We have a matching pendant is what we have. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo! How gorgeous. Look at all the colors. Yeah, I mean, I guess Mystic Topaz, but look at the faceting on that. That's so interesting the way that that they've cut this piece. And see, it looks basically clear on the back side, so all that coating is happening on the front. And it's got this kind of bail, and it's marked 925. Ooh, I wonder if we can get a value on that. I wonder if I can make it stand up. Ooh, I don't think so. Hmm. All right, Hermosa boxes, you can tuck over to the side. We'll stick with that for now. Pretty. All right. Next beside me, I have a pair of earrings, and I think these are really cool. Personally, they look like this. They are a post earring. They have this CZ bar down to a roundy and two chains hanging down to these. They almost look like ship's wheels, you know? Almost. Let's look at the backs. 925. I don't see a brand. Oh, what's that? CI? CI. Huh. Well, let's check the stones on it anyway. Because we can. But I think those are kind of cool. They're very different. Different from anything I have or that we have here at the store, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we have. We'll test uh, this little roundy here. Yeah, just glass or CZ. But really cool. I think, anyway. And then we have this pair of studs, little square cut rhinestone um, 
There is a mark there. What does it say? M something something. M something something. Oh. I don't know. Maybe the other one is more legible. Let's see. Or maybe the other one's not even marked. There we go. I don't know what that says. But those are large and in charge, hey? Very big CZ. In silver. And next up beside me, I've got little amethyst ones, little square amethyst earrings in 925 silver. Now that says a bit more on it. Let's see. Oh, Thailand. And this is going to be one of those brands from the Home Shopping Network or QVC. Those are cute. No complaints. <laughs> and here's some sparkly round ones. Very sparkly. And the same mark on it. I guess I have to try and look at it again. Oh, well, that's even worse. But maybe MJJ or MII. I don't know. I'm not sure. They have a really good sparkle, that's for sure. This is a cute little pair of earrings again. Two little heart CZs. Marked 925. And, oh, well, there's just a few more here. Three more pairs. There's another square one. I like how high up it's held and it says W O and this pair here round ones nine two five as well sorry that was probably really hard to see and I did not do a good job of showing it. My bad. But there they are. Very nice. And one last little stud here. Look at those. Those are cute and tiny. 925 on the back there. And... I'm not seeing a mark otherwise since it's ready anyway let's see if it tests as something nope oh i'm always so hopeful aren't i all right here's a watch this guy looks old it looks old i don't know if it actually is old but it's a really pretty and ornate marcasite watch ladies watch and what does it say for a brand there does it say it on the back too no. Hmm, nothing to see there. No brand that I can see anywhere. Just says quartz on it. And here's one more watch beside me. This is a little bit more modern, maybe, I don't know, 80s? What brand is that? I gotta move the hands to see it. Oh. I don't know. Aussie Rock? Aussie Rock? I'm not sure, but it's got this kind of a band on it. A very simple face. Nothing to see on the clasp either. All right. Now, I have a bag full of Stones, I guess. 
just a bunch of stuff in there. Looks like some amber and whatnot. I'm just going to go ahead and dump that out in front of us here. And we can dig around and see what we have. So right off the hop, I'm seeing some agate slices. A red one and two different blues. These ones have been made to be pendants. And I'm seeing glass, I would say. I think those are glass. I don't think they're green agate, but they could be. They could be green agate. They feel glassy, that's for sure. And then we have some jade. These little spikes and this piece, which tells me they used to be a bolo tie. You can see it's been cut off there. But cool little pieces of jade, that's for sure. Um, oh, there's a pair of earrings in here. Like this with turquoise. I think it's real. And the lever back. It's kind of weird like how it's been put together. This part's silver, this part's gold. So I think this was somebody's concoction once upon a time. Look at this cute little fang. I only have one, but it's like this little bottle. Like it's meant to look like a bottle, I think. But it's plastic or something. I don't know why I like that so much, but I do. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can get it to stand up. Oh yeah, no problem. Here's a piece of rhodonite. Ready to hang on something. Here is just a loose crystal. It's got a tanzanite kind of color. Just hanging out all on its own. But that's fun to see anyway, isn't it? Let's put you up there. And this is a piece of dendritic agate. Is that ever cool? Look at all that. It's also called tree agate. So you get the idea when it comes to the branchiness of it. Pretty. And here's two little jade pieces. Nephrite jade. Ready to be hung. And then, ooh la lu, we have some amber. A bunch of it. A bunch of amber. Rough cut, tumbled. And I know somebody who will want to get their hands on this. Our store is half and half with our, with a bead store. And um, the gentleman who runs the bead store is absolutely obsessed with amber and what I would consider to be an amber expert. And so I consult him a lot of the time on stones in general, um, but especially on amber. And he will buy uh, old pieces and he'll repurpose them into bracelets. And um, this is exactly what he would do with an old necklace and then he would make it into five or six bracelets um, with some accent beads and these are drilled already they're they were strung once upon a time so I will definitely pass these on to him and he will happily accept them <laughs> I have no doubt in my mind yes I'm thinking about having a an episode on my channel with him as uh, and we can talk about amber specifically you know like a talk show style sitting sitting at a table across from the camera okay I'm gonna have to dig into some some watches now we're getting down to the nitty-gritty you guys I'm freaking out actually because I think we're gonna run out of stuff uh, I think I got maybe three or four more episodes worth here and then I got to go looking for more stuff, which is terrifying. <laughs> but anyway, for now, here's a watch, a ladies gold tone watch with this rhinestone band on it. Very pretty, very fancy schmancy looking. There's the clasp. It's built like a bracelet. It's just a battery run. 
and I don't see any marks anywhere at all like not even a brand of the watch so weird that's kind of weird here's one that is uh, got a solid kind of band and I think those yeah those stones are loose in the face see they kind of roll around the face no brand on that face either the the band has seen better days there's quite a bit of wear and yeah nothing to be found as far as uh, a mark goes or a maker of that one here's a men's watch an older men's watch in uh, a stretchy stretch and that has a symbol for fire a fire department it says caravel it's in really rough shape the gentleman who had this wore it a lot at work and is it for a fire department i'm not sure honestly looking at it right now i don't know but it's it's very worn and the um the band is quite stretched out as well but i know the name caravel is is decent from what i understand and here's another watch this one says it's a Rolex. Oh, really? Well, let's get a better look at it. First of all, on the clasp, it's like oh, some Omax brand, not Rolex. And it's obviously meant to go with it. it um, it's seamless. Omax again. Yeah, so this is definitely a fake Rolex. But let's take a closer look and see if we can see more proof of that. I'm looking for glue under that um, crown and I can kind of see some the other thing you're looking for is the print not being perfect I don't really see that as much but um, yeah a fake Rolex for sure another watch and this is a Viva collection there's little stones all around the face and all down the band as well. It's got like that half solid, half chain band. Look how worn though. Or is it just a tarnish? No, I think it's worn. This one says, any case company. Okay. That screams quality to me. I don't know about you guys. Here's a pocket watch. It's on a pocket watch chain. It's got the little clippy clip to attach to you. And it looks like this. Rookie Casio water resistant illuminator. So it lights up. What's the name of that on Timex or something? It was Indiglo, I think. And it doesn't light up right now because it probably needs a battery. Yeah, that's the back of it there. It's got a cool old look to it, but it is not an old an old one. Here's a piece of a watch. <laughs> I guess it's the most important piece of the watch. This the part that tells time. So it says Belmore, it says 17 jewels, so this one should wind. Uh except for it doesn't because it's overwound. But we can move the arms around and yeah I can't twist it anymore there is a chance that it's gold um, but often when a watch says that it's gold it's um, just the casing around it not the band that's something important to keep in mind if you're out looking at old watches and here's another one. I don't know what brand that's supposed to be. Let's see. It's like a stylized K, maybe? A fancy curly K. Is that a K? Or is it an N? It might be an N. I'm not sure. Hopefully editor Michelle was able to find out because I don't know. Sitting here right now. We have so many watches that I just feel like eventually I'm going to have to just make a lot of watches. 
And here is another item. This is not a watch, or maybe it is. What's underneath there? I'm not sure. It's got an expansion band. It's kind of wonky on there. It says Ron. It's engraved Ron. And this should pop open. Let's see. Oof. I don't want to wreck a nail. Oh, got it. Oh, there's a photo in there. It says, Love Betty. To Ron, Love Betty. And look at them in there. Oh, that's pretty fun to find an old photo like that. Look at those legs. Oh, that's cool. I wonder who Ron and Betty are. I wonder if they have family around that would think it's cool to have this. <sighs> I don't know. That's the romantic in me, I guess. But that's kind of cool. So other than locating the long lost family of Ron and Betty, what do you think the value of something like that is going to be? Halco is the brand of the expansion. You know, like sometimes people like to buy the, like the weird, the kind of macabre um, items. And the fact that these are engraved and have that photo in it might actually be, oddly enough, a selling feature. I want to pop it open so that we have the picture out instead of having it set up closed like that yes like that i like that all right let me see if i can find a couple more things here for us before we're done today here's another pocket watch this one says united states navy it's pretty heavy i gotta say before looking any further i just want to see if it's a a wind up and i don't think so this is just loose Push it down. And there's what the face looks like. Oh, it's ticking. Did I wind it? Whoa. I don't know. I'm interested to see in the back of it, I guess. I don't know if I've got the ability to do that right here and right now. I do have tools at the store to pry watches open because we do change watch batteries. I thought I might be able to turn it, but no. So it's ticking. But I can't wind it. That's confusing me, I must say, if you can't tell. Uh, yeah, I wonder if, if it's one that runs by motion and automatic. But it would usually say automatic on it. United States Navy. No other info to see unless I get that back open. And uh, that's a project for another day. I'm not doing it right now. And I don't know. I don't know. More watches here beside me. We're going to have to do a watch special. Here's the last one. And then I'll show you what I have planned for our next episode because I've been saving these for a while now. This watch says PCA. It's got a brown leather assembled in China, Swiss parts. It's very lightweight. It is quartz, so it's running on a battery. But yeah, I don't know if PCA, it seems like it's probably like a company name. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. But I'm going to give you a little sneak peek at what's coming up next episode. We have a collection to look at on the next episode, a collection of eggs. Joan Rivers uh, Fabergé egg charms. Look at this. I'm just going to show you quick because I don't want to spoil it too much. But look at that. There's so many eggs. <laughs> it's really fun. Fun to look at and I'm looking forward to showing you too. So if you haven't already, click subscribe. I'm uploading a new video every Sunday and I would love to see you there again. In the description box below, there's going to be links to our eBay stores as well as 
emails. Reach out if you want to. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.